What is going on everyone? This is Armlock311 and today I am bringing you a Reforged guide for the Queen's Rocket Launcher. Now uh, this is going to be a little bit different than the other videos I've done in the series. I actually have two of them. Uh, the very first day House of Wolves dropped I got uh, this one. I'll let you go take a look at it. I got Clown Cartridge, Tracking, Javelin, and Hard Launch which was a very good roll so I didn't want to re-roll it. This is a very good PvE setup. Uh, because of the tracking. Tracking is really good for PvE as opposed to PvP. So I went ahead and kept that. Finally got another one. And I had to re-roll this. Oh my gosh, forever. I actually had to go farm Glimmer. Because <laughs> I re-rolled this thing so much. So I didn't just want to make you guys watch all that. So I'm just going to give you guys a recap. But if you guys look at the stats right here. It's missing a lot of velocity. And so, in this middle tier right here, you want Javelin. You absolutely 100% need Javelin on this weapon. You also want Hard Launch, which will increase Blast Radius and the Velocity even more. So Hard Launch and Javelin is very, very good. Uh, as you can see on the one I already have leveled up, once you get Hard Launch and Javelin, the Velocity is so much better. But um, going back to this one, so in this first tier, you are looking for hard launch. Absolutely have to have hard launch. For this perk right here, there's only two perks that you really want, either clown cartridge or tripod. Uh, now clown cartridge is reloading this weapon, has a chance to grant a larger than normal magazine. Uh, personally, I did want tripod on this because it has an incredibly slow reload speed, at least it feels slow. And so I wanted tripod so I could just shoot rockets off uh, as needed. But I ended up getting clown cartridge, so I stuck with that. But either one of those two perks will be fine. And like I said, for this tier, uh, I did get heavy payload. But as you see, I mean, you really don't need to increase the blast radius. Hard launch is already going to do that for you, and it's already pretty high. You absolutely need javelin. Can't stress that enough for that middle tier. And then for this perk over here, depending on what you want, if you're looking for a PvE rocket launcher, I suggest tracking. If you're looking for a PvP rocket launcher, you want grenades and horseshoes. Now, grenades and horseshoes is rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. This is so good in PvP because you don't actually have to hit the Guardian with the actual rocket. You just kind of have to get it in the general area and it'll detonate and kill the Guardian. A lot of times uh, you have Guardians hiding behind cover and you can shoot this rocket over that cover and as it goes over it it'll explode when it gets near the, the uh, Guardian and kill him. It's hilarious. You gotta try it. But that is exactly what you're looking for in that rocket launcher. So one more time. You want hard launch. Either clown cartridge or tripod depending on your preference. Javelin is an absolute must. And then grenades and, grenades and horseshoes for PvP and tracking for PvE. Alrighty guys, I hope that Reforge guide helped. I know it's a little bit different than what I usually do. I usually just let you guys uh, see reroll after reroll. But I felt that rocket launcher needed a very, very specific uh, roll in order to be effective. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have this weapon, and if you're going to keep it, and if you're going to re-roll it, try to get that awesome roll like I did. And as always, peace!